Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to New Covenant Church TV. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping on your timeline to listen to this message that I have for you guys today. And I hope that you're having a blessed week so far. And uh, I do have something I wanted to share with you all today, and it's, uh, it's gonna be a little challenging, but it's gonna be very special. Uh, but before I do, why don't you take just a few seconds out of your day right now to hit the share button so that other people can be blessed on your timeline as well. Because uh, what I feel like I'm gonna say today is gonna help many people. So uh, go ahead and hit that share button. Now, I wanted to start by asking you a question. Did you know that you can become an ordained minister all online with just a click of a button in just a few seconds. You just go to a website from a, you know, an online ministry, click a button and they'll immediately send you a certificate with your name on it, a little pretty certificate, and recognizing you as an ordained minister. Nowadays, there is an influx of ministers, instructors, preachers, you know, teachers, people, or, or not even a specific position, but people who, who believe that they are called to just speak the words of God in other people's lives. Now, if you feel like you're called to do that, or if you're, you know, the kind of person that's, you know, is always speaking the words of God in other people's lives, even, you know, just trying to encourage people with the word of God, let me first start off with a scripture that I think everybody should read, that I think that any Christian should read out there. And it's in James chapter three, verse one. And it says, I'm reading it from my phone here. It says, not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. So very, uh, very clear scripture right there. James is saying that he would rather not many people become teachers because there is a great responsibility when you, when you do become a teacher, when you do speak the words of God over people's lives. It's just like many of you work secular jobs, you know, like restaurant, you know, retail, uh, insurance companies. And if I came to you and said, do you want to be the CEO of that company? You would tell me, probably many of you, no, because there's too much responsibility and there's too much accountability. There's just too much pressure. And the question I have for anybody out there that's watching this video right now is, how come we don't have that same reverence for the hierarchy or for the, uh, the, for the positions in the kingdom of God, if you will? Now, if you feel that you're called to be in a position in ministry, or if you're simply the kind of person who always feels like you need to speak for God, nothing wrong with any of those. But if you feel like you are, allow me to give you four pieces of advice that will greatly help you. So get a pen and write these things down. The first piece of advice I want to leave you with is that desire doesn't always equal calling. You know, there's many people out there who desire to speak for God or to do something for God, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are called to do it. On the contrary, a lot of the times what I found is that desire does equal calling because the Bible says that God gives us the desires of our heart. Now, if you want, that means if you want to teach and you want to preach the word of God or whatever it might be, then you can, and God wants you to as well. However, you have to be in a position to where you can be teachable. You have to be in a position to where you don't know everything. You have to first empty out your cup so that your cup can be filled up. So the next piece of advice is this. Just because you like to talk or you can speak eloquently or you're good at speaking in front of people doesn't automatically mean that you're called to do that in front of people. Now, this, people that can talk and people that can speak is all great, but a lot of the times, with a lot of people, it's just a lot of this. Now, many of you know me, I'm more of an introverted person. I, I'm not the life of the party. I'm not always talking, talking, talking in front of people, but I do stand in front of people and speak and teach and, and preach because I feel like I'm called. I, you see, I don't do it because I like to do it or because I'm capable of doing it in my own power, but I do it because it's my calling and God makes me capable to do it. God is the one doing it through me. The next piece of advice, this is probably one of the most, this is probably the most important one. It's that God will do it through you. There are many people who feel like they're called and so they forcibly try to force their ministry and their calling on other people so that because they feel like they're called so much, I just gotta get my word out there and they try to do it within their own power and it always fails. You have to know and allow God to do it through you. God will do it through you if you allow him to do it. The success of any church or any ministry or, you know, if you're speaking in other people's lives and it's successful and it's blessing and helping people, it will be successful only if it's God doing it through you. The last piece of advice I wanted to leave you with is this. This is probably the most practical piece. Use your ears more, more than you use your mouth. God gave you two ears and only one mouth. 
I think there's a reason for that. I think that it's so much better to listen and to really hear what people are saying before you open your mouth and talk. You know, before you open your mouth and spread the words of God, you need to make sure that what you're saying is right and that it goes aligned and it aligns with the word of God. So very practical step right there at the end, but hey, all those will help you very greatly if you feel that you're called to speak the word of God in any way, shape, or form. So if this message blessed you, I want you to hit that share button right now. Again, hit that share button. Help me get this word out there that there's great things going on here at New Covenant Church TV. And I'll see you guys next week.